Hey, elite educators and purposeful parents. Welcome or welcome back to another video. Today's video is all about why teachers need summer break. Five reasons why teachers need summer break. I am Kimberly Deneen, your favorite educational coach and consultant. And I'm with Education Noir, where we help you with the best tips and tools you need to level up your practice for student growth and achievement. Now let's get into the video. Five reasons why teachers need summer break. I decided to do this video because I have friends who are outside of education and uh, many of them really don't understand the stress and the, the physical demand, the emotional demand that the job entails. And when, um, you know, I'm on summer break, they, they say it like, like, you know, why do you need the whole summer off? And, you know, why? You shouldn't be tired. You get to have the whole summer off. Um, so I really wanted to make this video um, not only for education, for educators, for parents, but for everyone to understand why it truly is important for uh, teachers to have a break. First of all, when I have a summer break, it literally takes me about three weeks to actually um, decompress. I, I feel like, I guess the stress, sometimes I'm not even truly aware of how much stress I, I feel um, throughout the days, throughout the weeks, throughout the months, throughout you know the year. And when I'm finally on summer break, I, I, I feel the stress. I can, I can feel it. I can feel it in my body. I can feel it in my mind. And it, it takes me about three weeks, some, sometimes more, sometimes less. It just depends um, to actually feel like I have just woo side. <laughs> and um, it, I know it's because of the stress of the job. And so I did a video, um, it's, um, I'm gonna try to put it up, link it up here, um, but it's called Teaching is Beyond Stressful. And in that video, you can get a better understanding of what many teachers go through. And I'm not sure if you are aware that there is, well, there's a mass resignation going on in general, but a lot of teachers are leaving the field of education or have left the field of education. So there is a major teacher shortage. So, and I, I, I believe that it's probably a lot worse um, after we had to come back um, physically into the classroom. Uh, I, I've spoken to other teachers and I'm, I'm going to have them as guests on, he, on this you know, channel very soon. Um, who have felt so much stress that they've either had to seek professional help, they've been placed on medication, um, but these are seasoned teachers and teachers who have been in the field for 10 plus years. So when we say we need summer break, we truly do need summer break. So let's get into these five reasons why teachers need a summer break. So the first one I alluded to a bit, um, and I'll be looking down at um, some notes that I wrote for this video. Um, but number one is teaching requires a lot of physical and emotional stamina. So um, a, some teachers, some, some subjects are a little more physically demanding than others. Perhaps uh, our health and PE, perhaps art, perhaps um, the music teachers may have a little bit more physical demand on their actual bodies. However, teachers are expected to be up, circulating around the room. I know with COVID, um, some of that has 
probably lessened because they wanted us socially distanced at one point, but now sh these restrictions are being lifted. And so we are expected to, you know, move around, circulate, help students one-on-one, -on -one, work with students in small groups, place students in groups. All of that is, um, you know, it's physical. Uh, and then also we have a lot of emotional demands in regards to teaching. We have to develop, build and maintain um, relationships with students and uh, navigate their emotional states, you know, assist them with um, managing their emotions, helping them understand how to self-manage. Um, all of this is emotionally taxing, right? So that's why I say that there is a lot of physical and emotional stamina involved in education. And so taking a break allows our physical and emotional batteries to be recharged. So that's number one. Teaching requires a lot of physical and emotional stamina. Number two, you, you need to get off the hamster wheel right we're we're in almost an always on culture um and i i think the pandemic may have worsened this you know mindset to uh employers to even employees that we have to be always on so we need to get off of that hamster wheel curriculum and students also, they may change from time to time. Um, however, the day-to-day -day routine, that is pretty constant. And so uh, to break up the monotony, we definitely need this break. You know, to um, be in an environment where it can kind of get a little stagnant um, some teachers have been teaching the same curriculum for 10 plus years. Some teachers have been in the same classroom for 10 plus years. And so being in the same environment, teaching the same content, it causes monotony. And so that can be taxing as well. So, uh, breaks allow for teachers to get fresh air, <laughs> experience a new environment, uh, grow new perspectives. And when we do these things, the, they can be brought back to the classroom to support students. However, we need to get off the hamster wheel. We need to, these breaks, this summer break, um, it breaks up the monotony and, um, you know, just causes new perspectives. All right, number three, stress plus rest equals growth, okay? Stress plus rest equals growth. That's number three. So in the book called Peak Performance by Steve Magnus and Brad Stuberg, they talk about this in the book. Um, they say the ben there's benefit um, to stressing the mind and the body with new challenges and then giving the mind and the body time to reflect and rest. And they say that this helps us grow when we do this, okay? So teachers have had a incredible school year. This 2021-2022 school year, I say it was an incredible school year because we have been um, home or, you know, well, yeah, most of us have been home um, for um, almost two years, um, some longer, some two and a half years. Um, and we, I'm sure, develops a comfort, a complacency with that, working from home, teaching remotely, um, and then to have to come back into the physical classroom and back into that environment was like a jolt. 
I know for me personally, I felt jolted. I almost felt like, well, what, what, what do I do again? How do I manage the classroom again? Um, dis discipline students like what? How, how do I run? A, how do I run a lesson again? I almost felt like that. And I'm gonna be quite frank with you. The very beginning of the school year, I I felt anxiety and I felt um, a tremendous amount of stress. It's hard to put into words how I felt at the beginning of the school year. And I'm gonna say that probably lasted the first four months of the school year. I, I, I really had, I thought I really needed to actually talk to a professional because of the feelings that I was experiencing. Um, eventually, uh, I didn't, I never talked to a professional. I talked to my coworkers. I talked to my family and my friends. And eventually I got into a groove and I, I, I found my way, um, I'm not going to say back to where I was before the pandemic because I believe we're all different now. So I found a new normal and I found a new way of approaching uh, my lessons, a new way of approaching classroom management and working and developing relationships with my students. So, um, however, a lot of teachers are still feeling um that anxiety so I, I i i was happy to speak to other teachers about this because I, I i was it was comforting to know that i was not the only one feeling how i was feeling however um the summer allows us to um take that time to reflect and to rest um, challenging ourselves with we're always challenging ourselves with new ideas new projects new ways of teaching um, you know post pandemic all of these things have been we've been doing them all all school year so we definitely need the time in the summer to reflect to and to rest uh, and I'm not sure that every teacher is financially able to, um, to not work over the summer. Um, however, I'm encouraging teachers to practice self-care, take your breaks when you can, even if you have to work over the summer because it definitely will do you well. All right, so take some time in the summer to rest and reflect. And again, if you can't do that, and you have to work over the summer, you know, practice self-care in uh, your weekends. Hopefully they'll be free. You can really take time over the weekend to rest and reflect. All right, so let's get to number four. Number four, uh, <laughs> nourish your excitement and passion. So summer is a great time to um, cultivate a business, to um, learn a new skill, to, to do something that you truly enjoy doing. Um, taking a break from the daily grind, I call it the rat race. <laughs> The rat race because I, I commute for work and I, I mean quite frankly some some of the driving that I see um, on the highways and on the roads just to get to work you know it's almost like a life and death situation the way some people drive um, and there's and some people are not courteous at all on the highways and the roads and it just feels like a rat race. Um, all this, you know, you're going to risk life and limb on the roads just to get to work. It's just, it's very interesting. Um, however, 
take time from the rat race to get other work done, okay? So especially if for those of you who, if you can't take um, the whole summer break off due to, you know, you, 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 you need to work, you know, your financial situation. Um, but however, those who can take this time off to work, you know, f- take this time to, if you like to knit, um, knit. If you like to crochet, crochet. If you if you like to um, garden, do that. If you like to um, create content like what I'm doing now, do that. Start that YouTube channel. Um, start that blog. Start that uh, podcast. You know, um, do something that is important to you and that feeds your soul your passion that ex- your ex- whatever excites you you know take that time in the in the summer uh break to do that okay number 5 taking a break promotes creativity and i really can attest to that because some of my best teaching ideas have have come to me over the summer break <laughs> I know we're always thinking about our students. We're always thinking about how we can um, make the lessons better, even when we're off of work. And, that, and you know, actually, that is something that I have like really, really been intentional about not doing. <laughs> However, um, things drop down into my spirit and and uh, and they're great they're great um they end up being really great ideas for my classroom so while i don't actually um write lesson plans or unit plans or take professional development over the summer i do end up getting really creative ideas over the summer because you know what it's because i'm not working I'm just being a human being and I have time to think. That's what it is. So um, take that time in the summer to replenish. Take that time in the summer to be creative. Take that time in the summer to rest. Take that time in the summer to do something you love. So these are the five reasons why teachers need summer break. All right, so thank you so much for watching this video. If you got value out of this video, please show some love and tap that like button. And if you've been coming here and seeing uh, the videos and you've enjoyed what you've seen, you've gleaned something from them, and you've not yet joined our community, what are you waiting for? Join our community, it's so easy. All you have to do is click the subscribe button in the notification bell, and you will know of anytime I upload videos every week, and you'll be able to get the content. And also, I ask that you share, share the content with your educator friends, with whatever videos you think your parent friends might, might um, glean from, share it with them as well. So thank you for watching. Continue to level up your practice for student growth and achievement. And I'll see you in the next video.